today we found a contender for the title of SD Card King. Could Cybrant's micro SD card be better? Better than the SanDisk Extreme? This right here is a brand new competitor for micro SD cards, Sabrent. Sabrent is better known in the PC space for their SSDs, and as such, it's always interesting to see an established storage maker create their own micro SD cards. So, Sabrent ships these micro SD cards in this tiny little box with this tiny little plastic container. I don't mean to go overboard, but this is genius packaging compared to the typical micro SD card packaging. Look how big and wasteful this is. And it's not just SanDisk, it's also Samsung as well. Why bother with all this plastic? It comes in its own carrying case. Look at that, its own carrying case for a micro SD card. In theory, you could hold at least two micro SD cards in here, one in its own slot and one inside the adapter. Like any other micro SD card that you buy, you'll want to insert it into your Steam Deck and then immediately go format it. Not only does the Steam Deck format the SD card, but it also checks the validity of said micro SD card. It's used for weeding out any fake micro SD cards, of which I can confirm this is real. I mean, Sabrent did send it to me. I'm just gonna do some preliminary testing to see just how good this thing is compared to the SanDisk Extreme. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. And as such, I reformatted my SanDisk Extreme. So as such, we're just gonna do some preliminary testing. The first test is gonna be Crystal Disk Mark, or rather the Linux equivalent, K Disk Mark. So on the left is the SanDisk Extreme, and on the right is the Sabrent SD card. As you can see here, both exhibit very similar performance, as both SD cards are class A2, so realistically there should be similar performance. And yes, I am aware that the write speeds are a bit higher on the Sabrent SD card. That could probably be chalked up to the fact that this is a brand new SD card, whereas I've been using the SanDisk Extreme for quite some time now. But again, I'm not entirely certain. On each SD card, I've run the test about 5 times, and every time I got similar results for each. Now for a more practical test. Downloading Dark Souls 3. It's not too big of a game. It's only 30 gigabytes after all. Disclaimer, this is not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination. All variables are the same though, except for the SD card used. Without further ado, here are the results. Eighteen minutes, huh? And this is with the SanDisk Extreme. Now let's do the Sabrent Rocket. 1⁄2-a-minute faster. That's mildly impressive, given that the general consensus is that the SanDisk Extreme's main advantage is the write speed. This test probably would have been better off had I plugged this into Ethernet. Given that I kept the Steam Deck in the exact same spot during both tests, I'd say this is more than fair. Again, not a very scientific test. We may have a new king of SD cards. But what about price? The SanDisk Extreme's MSRP is 300 bucks according to Amazon, but it's currently on sale for 134. The Rocket's MSRP though is 200 bucks, but it is on sale right now for 159.99. The SanDisk Extreme does have a better sale right now though, so there's that to consider as well. Either way, you are getting a micro SD card that's as good if not straight up better than the SanDisk Extreme. If you like high-tech lowlife, you should check out the rest of my channel. And if you like the rest of my channel, you should like, subscribe, and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife. Furthermore, we have a community Discord server. There's a link in the description down below. Check us out.